Hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's episode of the Holy Post. Oh, look at well, this is starting <laughs> off very, very nice, you guys. Yeah. Well, I am here today with Monica Eaker and Joanne Brainerd, and this is like a little like celebration of Valentine's Day. Aww. Does anybody know a Valentine's Day? I just found this out. Did you do you know this, Joanne? Yeah. The Valentine's Day is where a bunch of girls just and you know, women get together and celebrate Valentine's Day with just the gals. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like today I've been invited to your Galentine's celebration. Oh, what a blessing. <laughs> what a blessing. <laughs> Sitting here in the priest's sacristy for Galentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Anyway, I am so <laughs> grateful that we're here. This, um, this is this is quite the powerhouse duo, okay? Uh, and so, and they have many multiple facets and jobs and roles around here, which is good, okay? Joanne is the queen of our cafeteria. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so she is uh, she is the director of our cafeteria. So uh, that's a very important job, um, and specifically, she always keeps a healthy supply of fruit snacks. Just ordered some yesterday because oh, you're thank, running low. Thank you, Jesus. I can't run out. Uh, because sometimes I just get this craving, and I just need some fruit snacks, and Joanne always is there to provide. Thank you, that's very beautiful. <laughs> uh, but Joanne's also in charge of the American Heritage Girls uh, here, she's the president of that. Uh, and so that's, um, that's a, 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 an organization that's replaced the Girl Scouts here. Um, and it's for our girls, what, what, what do the American Heritage Girls do? Uh, so we um, do basically anything that any other scouting program would do. We um, do activities to earn badges, we go to events, like we just um, went to all, we picked apples this winter, or this, you know, fall. Um, what else do we do? Oh, we, you know, we went to the library, we took a walk um, to Sidecup Park, and we learned all about, like, marine animals that live in, like, oh, wow. yeah, the river system. So, we do lots of fun stuff. Um, we had just a little Valentine party the other day. We oh. had some award parties, so, we, and then we're doing the Scots Mass on this Sunday. So and you're ultimately, you're stuff. trying to get these young girls uh, to have those, um, all of the, the various, um, you know, life respect skills. and life skills and all these different things to, to help them to grow up into good young women. Right? Yeah, yeah. Our Just motto that. is um, build women of integrity, and I really take oh, that what? very, yeah, I take that very oh, strongly, you know, yeah, like, that's good. so, that's because, good. yeah, you're not going to know if you're not taught. So, Amen. every time of life skills, we, we have it all. If you want to learn something, it's in the book. Well, that's good. Yeah. And then we have Monica Eager over here. Okay, and so Monica is our athletic director for CYO, uh, which is a tough thing to just kind of manage and just try to, it's a, it's a lot of kids and a lot of things, but we know sports is so important, right? And so obviously Monica is keeping that all put together, which we're very grateful for. Um, but Monica is also representing the Boosters Club, and we did our ministry spotlight weekend this past weekend, and the Boosters has always been a very big thing here at St. Joe's, to my, to my knowledge. Um, because they are so supportive of things like American Heritage Girls, right? Uh, of our CYO athletic program, right? And all these things. So what's the what's the boosters do? Like, just give me give me some give, give the give our our, yes. our audience a little sense of the boosters. What are their what are they boosting? So the purpose of our boosters organization is to support not just our sports program but all three of our scouting programs. Anybody that's a parishioner at St. Joe's can join boosters, and we welcome anyone that would like to come help, come see what Boosters is about, um, and help in any way. We support the Cub Scouts, the Boy Scouts, American Heritage Girls, and then again, like I said, all of our sports teams. We uh, provide an eighth grade scholarship to our um, graduating eighth graders, and this year we're actually, we revamped the eighth grade scholarship a little bit, so instead of it just being one or two scholarships, we're actually giving one eighth grade boy and one eighth grade girl a uh, scholarship, and then also a parishioner. So if there's a parishioner that's homeschooled or maybe goes to a different school, um, they're also eligible for the, uh, excuse me, the eighth grade scholarship as well. And so the big fundraisers that we do to be able to support all of this are Feather Party, which we do in November, which is kid friendly. We Why don't you tell people what a Feather Party is? Because I remember my first Feather yes. Party, I showed up and I'm like, what is this? I was that the same like, way. That's an like, excellent question. Yeah. So the I don't know where the term feather party came from, but I think it's just because of it's right around Thanksgiving and we decorate with feathers and everything to do with fall. And there's 
decorate Basically, with feathers. There you go. I don't think I've ever seen Did a you, feather. You, you decorate I'll show with you. feathers? Like turkey feathers. Or I've never seen one at the feather party. Okay, whatever. Okay. So there's what? dinner, there's <laughs> we sign with the feather. Auction, there's I'm gonna <laughs> There's dinner, there's a silent auction, um, like a chance auction, there's tons of carnival games for the kids to play, there's 50-50, we raffle off turkeys and hams all night, and so it's a fundraiser, but it's also an opportunity for the parish to get together um, before the holidays and the craziness of the holidays. And it holidays. is fun, it's, it a, fun, it's fun. a fun fun evening, you know. And then the reverse raffle, yes. which is coming up, that's a big old to do. Yes. So that's reverse, March 9th, right? March 9th at March 6 9th. Get your reverse raffle tickets, okay? Yes. How do they get those tickets? So you can look in the parish bulletin or call Dave Higgins. There's a QR code um, in the bulletin to purchase tickets, and then Dave will contact you to get you your actual tickets, or you can just call Dave. His number's in the bulletin as well. And the reverse raffle is March 9th. It starts at 6 p.m. They go to 5 p.m. Mass and then just roll right in. Roll We're going to have in. a amazing uh, multicultural dinner that's provided by some of our awesome kitchen staff, some of our parishioners. They bake, they cook for two or three days. And the theme this year is the Olympics. So they're going to have different stations based on some of the different countries that participate cool. in the Olympics. And then we'll go upstairs for the actual reverse raffle part. And for those of you who don't know what a reverse raffle is, your ticket number is your number for the reverse raffle, and you do not want your number called. So basically the last person standing wins the pot, but then there's also lots of other opportunities to win prizes. And uh, we also like to honor all of our coaches and our scouting leaders at that. We give away some prizes to kind of recognize our leaders. The food's amazing. The $70 ticket includes all of the food, drinks. Um, there's like a 10 p.m. pizza that comes in, and hopefully it can actually make it past the door this year. <laughs> I think people were pretty There's happy. a lot of food. Yeah. It could feed a small country. Yes, the food much, is you know? amazing. Yeah. And it's just a fun night. It's adults only, and uh, we're there until the last man standing wins the pot. So nice. there you go. Well, that's excellent. The, um, the, the, these ladies represent organizations that do so much for, for our parish, and, and really it, it's a values add for our, for our kids and, and adults who are part of it, you know, and there's just an energy that surrounds um, boosters, the events with boosters, um, again, all of our scouting, uh, all of this, there's just an, there's an energy and there's, there's a, a spirit that's really, really powerful, same with CYO, and so Again, I'm just grateful for what all of you do and all your team because it's a big, it's a big old thing, you know, to try to take it on. And right. So. I would even say that this is probably, if not the largest, one of your largest youth ministry programs. Um, just a few numbers for you. We have right now 275 student athletes have played a sport wow. for for just for St. Joe's this year. We have 82 coaches. And we basically play sports year round. Softball wraps up the beginning of July and then volleyball starts up in August. So we definitely could use coaches, health, volunteers, any way that you would like to get involved, we would love to have you. I remember back to my CYO days, fifth grade CYO basketball. Oh, no. Did I ever tell you this story? No, no. Oh my gosh. It was when I realized that I was not meant to play basketball. I, um, I realized they, they made me run up and down the court and not mm -hmm. just stay in one key and foul people. And I was like, <laughs> and the coach was like, no, you have to run down. And I'm like, no, I don't, that's not, I'm not, no, let's not, not a do runner. That. No, let's <laughs> not. Me so that's when I started, that's when I started to play football. Uh, I was on the line, five yards either side of the ball. That's all I needed. So that was good. <laughs> anyway, that's all I needed. Well, on another note, we got Lent coming up, and so yes. you guys are going to be getting in the mail your little Lenten postcard right here. You got that right there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so this Lenten postcard has all of our Lenten activities, and so next Wednesday is Ash Wednesday, and so obviously we do not want you to make an ash out of yourself, so get to those Ash Wednesday masks. See what I did there? I love Ash, I love ash Wednesday humor. It's fantastic. Uh, it's just, and so uh, the 8 a.m. mass, 10 a.m. school mass, mass, noon mass, 7 p.m. mass. So come on over, get your ashes. It's a fantastic thing um, to be thinking about our how we're going to pray, how we're going to fast, how we're going to give alms. Um, and then we have our, uh, our parish reconciliation service. We have our day of grace. We have um, our soup and bread uh, series on uh, Wednesday nights, which is really, really good.
like. It's it's really something good to come to. Uh, free food, and uh, then you go to stations across afterwards. There's a wonderful speaker. So again, Easter is early this year, mm -hmm. and so buckle up. I feel like we just got done with Christmas, but um, nonetheless. So I, hopefully we can make it a good Lent. I um, there was a priest friend of mine who would always say, "I hope you have an excruciating Lent," uh, and I was like, "Oh, that's just so beautiful." <laughs> uh, but it's true, and so in in that excruciating kind of those sacrifices. Uh, we really do grow, grow closer to our Lord. So uh, I am looking forward to journeying with you this Lent and with all the various things that are happening here. Again, keep praying for us. Know that we're praying for you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.